Do you guys remember a time way back when when DC was considered a little bit of a more cooler version of Marvel when it was more darker and grittier than Marvel? And now all DC is giving you is a whole bunch of woke feminist propaganda that loves to tell you about toxic masculinity. Congratulations. Ooh, you suck. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have an article here from Bounding Into Comics with a headline, and this headline is quite amazing. It says Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League sees Lex Luthor praise Wonder Woman and the Amazons for having solved the problem of toxic masculinity. <laughs> of, of all things, man, Lex Luthor would be praising Wonder Woman for it's the savior of toxic masculinity. That's essentially what we're talking about. So let's get into this article, guys, from Bounding Into Comics. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Like the video to push us out into the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing to my manga channel. The links are in the description box below in my link tree. I would love to see you there. So it says, as if players needed yet another reason to pass on Rocksteady Games' disappointing Suicide Squad kill the Justice League, an in-game profile for Wonder Woman has revealed that the Arkham vs. incarnation of Lex Luthor greatly admires the fact that toxic masculinity does not exist within the Amazon society of Themyseria. I don't really know how to say that word. I'm sorry. I'm going to butcher it. I I'm going to apologize ahead of time. But yes, apparently, when it comes to the Amazonian society, uh, the fact that men are not there, the fact that toxic masculinity is not there, apparently, that is enough to have Lex Luthor, yes, Lex Luthor, come out and thank or, or praise Wonder Woman for saving mankind from toxic masculinity. It is the most cringe line, and you just know, you know that when you look at the writers that wrote this particular game, and we've seen some of them, you saw that trailer, we all saw it on Saturday Night Hypnosis, when you look at that trailer, you know those pink hair people, you know... You all of them, right? When you look at these writers, you just know when they write lines like this, they got off on this, right? Like they they love it. The fact that they got to demasculate a man, it just it, it made them so excited, right? And chances are, it was probably a male feminist too that wrote this. It wasn't just it wasn't just female feminists. It was a male feminist too that joined in on this. And it was like, yep, we need to tell everybody how toxic we are. Yes, ladies, let's let's run it off the press. Hot print. Let's do this. So it says each written from the individual perspective of either Captain. Captain Boomerang or Luther himself, these profiles referred to in game as Codex entries see either of the two supervillains offering a quick rundown of a given character's personality and their own personal thoughts regarding the subject's existence. For example, in his brief dissertation on the Flash, the aforementioned Aussie declares all you need to know about Flasher is that he's a shiny red beacon bastard to every high school sports captain who ever thought they were, they were been then what? What the fuck does I even say? Am I reading that right? He used to be real good at hurting people with words. Whoever thought they were been then MU. I, I don't even know what he's even trying to say. You're just making a living as hardworking rebel. And then this guy shows up, throwing his weight around, calling himself the fastest, the funniest, and the best. His ranting continues. Who asked, mate? If he was any more full of himself, he'd have little flashies dripping off of his nose hairs. However, while most of these codex entries serve mainly to flesh out the Arkham universe, which again, the fact that this game is canon to the Arkham universe makes this game even more insulting than it already was, right? If it was a standalone title and it wasn't it wasn't canon to the Arkham universe, I probably wouldn't care as much. But considering that I have all the Arkham games, considering that I fucking love the Arkham games and they're deciding to ruin the lore, they're deciding to ruin the canon by introducing this feminist garbage into Suicide Squad, it just annoys me. It annoys me that much more than I would have already been annoyed had that not been the case. So it, it just... I I can't stand the idea that that's canon. To flesh out the Arkham universe and provide players with a fun spot of flavor text, the one belonging to Wonder Woman attempts to up its relevance with a ham-fisted injection of real-world socio-political discourse. Well, I mean, what are they never going to do? They're never going to not do that, right? At this point, we have to accept that these gaming companies, nine times out of ten, are going to take every opportunity they can to bend over for ESG and collect that money, right? I'm not saying you have to just deal with it and buy their games. You know, you can avoid buying their games 
if you don't want to support it. But what I'm telling you is that they're not going to change. That much is very obvious. No matter how much people fight against them, no matter how much we may yell at them, they're not going to change. They are going to go bankrupt before they change. They're going to get woke and go broke before they change. They're never going to come out and publicly admit that they're wrong. They're never going to come out and publicly admit that they're changing. That's not going to happen. They rather the company die than come out and change against the woke left. It's as crazy as that sounds. That's the truth. They're going to stick to their guns and they're going to make sure that they go as far as they can. Whether or not they succeed, that's that's not priority. What's priority is let's get the message out as much as we possibly can while the money and the funding is there in order to do so. Because once that goes away, the company's going under because we are going to alienate our fans. We're going to alienate our real customers in the hopes that we can virtue signal and pander to people who are never going to buy our game, to people who watch our game on YouTube, to people who probably will pirate the game. That's who we're virtually signaling to. Like That's that's what matters. So they're never going to admit that they're going to change, and we need to stop expecting that that's going to be the case, in my opinion. You can call that being blackpilled or whatever. I just don't see it. So it says, taken from the files of Lex Luthor, Diana's profile begins with the super villain explaining, I am prone to wild imagine imaginings as a man of science speculation is how my brain finds leisure and the closest thing it knows to play but there is little amusement to be found in imagining how improved earth would be if instead of forcing the amazons into hiding without cruelty and avarice we had instead looked to them as a model replicable if only we set aside our baser instincts from there luther would offer glowing praise to the fact that the amazons have solved so many of our society's ills broken democracy lagging technology toxic masculinity and thus they flourish through higher learning mutual aid and governance without cruelty they are a golden society who deserve to be as secret as they are enter wonder woman so named i assume because one wonders why a woman of her caliber and ancestry will leave paradise to play in the mud with us he adds and though the profile continues the only available screenshot of it is the internet its originator currently unknown cuts off the very last bits of luther's musings now really quick ladies and gentlemen who the fuck is this? Okay, because this there is this is not Wonder Woman. Who is this? Why is Wonder Woman so god ugly in this game? Like they love doing this. They love making characters extremely ugly if they were known to be attractive women in the past. Who is this? I don't know who this diverse fake Wonder Woman is. It makes no damn sense. But you know what? Fine. They want to do this. They want to tank their game. I really don't care. This is why 800% search terms in terms of refunds is trending right now for a Suicide Squad. This game is getting refunded in mass, and that's because customers have realized that they got screwed over with this game. So it says, while most criticism of this entry will focus on its mention of toxic masculinity, and for good reason, as this term is rarely ever used to discuss actual topics related to men's mental well-being and behaviors, but rather as a blank check to be used in service of shutting down all male input in a given discussion, it should be noted that what makes the entire Codex entry particularly absurd is the fact that it's coming from Lex freaking Luther. And that's precisely my point, ladies and gentlemen. Lex Luthor is the one that's thanking Wonder Woman for taking care of toxic masculinity. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's like the Joker thanking Wonder Woman for taking care of toxic masculinity. That makes no fucking sense. What are you doing with your IP, Disney? Uh, Dis not even Disney. Wow. Just thinking of the wrong woke company. What are you doing, DC, with your IP that you're completely throwing it out the window like this? I just don't understand. Other than for ESG, obviously. But after a certain point, do you really want to go down this route? Do you really want to go down the same route that other companies have gone look what happened with the marvel's avengers that game fucking bombed absolutely tanked for square enix it lost them so much money with forespoken as well that they had to double back and guess what the hell they're going to do for the next year because they lost that much money so still you really want to go down this route knowing that your game is basically identical to that game just with a dc skin on it listen you want to do that by all means more power to you obviously people like myself will not be supporting this absolute garbage so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out <laughs>